no joke guys i made this prom dress in three days and here i am starting off with the first part of the dress the birthday spot i'm drafting it out now So now I'm done drape, I'm drafting it out. So the next thing I'm gonna do is drape it on the mannequin to fit our size. So I'm draping it, trimming out the necklines and the halter neck sides. Yeah. <music> transferring the pattern to the fabric cutting out the back it was hard i was under pressure right now i was thinking about the dress and everything but it was fine yeah so let's get started Right now I'm cutting out the front pattern of the dress and I'm trying to trace out the cup, the the sides, the cup and the neckline. interfacing the the, uh, the pattern with the foam and the interlining that's gonna give it a structure to make it look good and pop out because I don't want her to wear a bra with this <music>
And right now, cutting out the lower part of the skirt, I'm trying to drape the back and the front together. I find that that's much easier and more effective. So I'm draping out a hip, a waist, and a half length. So yeah, it's gonna have a joining in the center. So right now I'm doing the skirt starts. I'm giving a, a, a joining in the center to make it more fitting. Yeah, that's what a dart is. <laughs> So now is the time for the little skirt. Oh, thank God. I was big back there this time already. So, yeah. So, I'm trying to cut out the lower part of the skirt, which is the, the, the puffy part of the skirt. So, I'm cutting out the whole thing, y'all. It was so, so, so dramatic this time around. And yes, that was it. So I went ahead to get another pack of fabric to add to the skirt. Yeah, I did. Took out the labels, took another six yards, took it out and added to the design. So that skirt was going to be dramatic because I added a lot of fabric, a lot of fabric. Yeah. So after so after cutting out the um the lower part of the of the dress, I decided to give it a good garter. That means I looped a, a needle, went through the edges, and pulled them out to make it all. Um, how do I say this now? Come together, yeah, like that. <laughs> so yeah, that was what I did.
Okay, y'all, I made this dress in three days, right? And I had on a jacket because it was really cold there. So you might see me wear the same jacket for three days. I wasn't wearing it for, I was wearing it for days because it was cold. And I needed something to be one way. But that's by the way. So now, back to the, to the main um, topic. I was about to put in the crinoline into the skirt to give it uh, a volume. Because I knew that if I were if I were to make it plain, it won't be buffy enough. So I wanted to be so dramatic. So I did a, a crinoline, ten yards. I had it into the skirt. So upon which I placed the garter. Does that make sense? It makes sense. I got you. I know you guys make sense. So yeah. So I went ahead and I made the outfit. I sewed it together, and yeah, it came out really beautiful and really good. It was so beautiful, and yeah, she tried it on, and at her first fitting, it was looking good. Yeah, she wore it to the ball, and she was beautiful in it. She was the queen of the ball, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to do something like this, you can send me a DM on Instagram. Yeah. Bye, guys. I love you so much. Take care of yourself. Perfectly. This is like the first try, you know. And it is amazing. And it is amazing. You guys. Turn, 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 turn. I feel like an African.